going to start with the tragic story of why there's a chunk of my head missing. <laughs> I'm kidding. It has nothing to do with what we're doing. But I hit my head really hard yesterday, so if nothing I'm saying makes sense, it's because I'm probably motherfucking concussed. There's a bump in her head. <laughs> no, literally, there's I took a snake a chunk. in my boat. And the, the refrigerator, all of our appliances at our apartment literally <laughs> have something against us. Like, they literally just break Bruh. every day. It's and we don't even use shit like that. Like, we're <laughs> not active in our kitchen. <laughs> like, the fuck? Like, I feel bad for families that live there and have to, like... Dude, yeah, our sink is fully s- flooding. Well, like, out the actual, like, head of it, uh, or where you, like, go like this with the sink. I don't know what the fuck it's called. <laughs> but where you turn it on and off, it's flooding yeah, underneath it. literally just, it. like, drips, and then it's all And in the morning, floor. there's a whole puddle, and then we called them. They're like, Ugh. it's fixed. The next day, it's doing it again. So We're I'm like, like oh. And we have neighbors. Sky Bunker Hill. Like, <laughs> Tom Sayer. Dude, I told them that I'm going to put a Yelp review on them if they don't get <laughs> these issues fixed, and they haven't. And I've been emailing them all the time. So they, I don't give a fuck. They literally, and then our neighbors, like, knock on our door, and they're like, bang, bang, bang. No, it's not a knock on our door. It makes an earthquake where everything's falling off our our walls she's running like jumping her heart's (laughs) dropping she's almost crying because of how psycho these fools are (laughs) this has absolutely nothing to do with what we're talking about today by the way (laughs) we just live in a boop ass we're just mad we're just mad and we're just upset okay (laughs) and we have feelings And our neighbors get new washer and dryers. And I just want to walk don't. out like, the house, and not live there. Okay. Uh, so, okay. Um, so the actual so. topic today. Go off. So the actual topic today. I say go off. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how to like how to like start this this story. Um, no, we didn't get permission to tell this story, but I'm gonna tell it anyway. We're gonna tell it anyways. We're not gonna say fucking names, okay, bro. Fine. <laughs> We're not going to say who it is, but so today is all about like, we have a few things we're going to talk about and we have a funny guest, but we're going to first talk about celebrities in Los Angeles, like weird celebrity stories we've had either where celebrities were like cool or celebrities were like fucking weirdos or celebrities were literally beating their girlfriends in front of us. Just other things like that. Yeah. That it was like, everyone thinks that these people are so cool and like above all and like everyone looks up to them and they want to be them and then you hear the stuff they do and then you watch the things they do and you're like what the fuck and I feel like I've talked about this a little bit before but we're gonna tell these like these stories stories of like incidences if this is you we're not saying your name so don't sue us but y'all are pieces of shit but here let's start with this story take it away Dana um okay so one of our friends dated a rapper And we're not going to say who our friend is. We're not going to say which rapper it is. We knew that he was sus. He was, like, cheating on her all the time in front of her. She kind of, I mean, not kind of. She knew, but then would be like, well, we talked it out, blah, blah, blah. And then one day, we were at this little event, and she goes, come back to our house. And so we're like, okay, bet. And it was me, her, and, like, two of our other roommates at the time. Mind, while we're at this event, like, he's sitting on the couch making out with a girl. Like, also yeah. the ugliest while girl she's there, I have watching. literally ever seen in my life. And he's sitting on the couch making out with this fucking girl. And she, we're like, are you not going to say something? Are you not going to, like, bring something up? Are you not going to, like, stand up for yourself? Which honestly, unfortunately, did start the kind of argument that happened. But also, it's like, she has to stand up for herself. She can't just let her boyfriend that she's, like, staying loyal to just cheat on her in front of her. But then they start, after that moment, we told her to say something. She actually did. And I think she kind of felt, like, empowered to because we were there. And, like, thank God she did because she never used to. And so she actually, like, said something. He got all angry. And then... We were walking out, and, like, us, we were walking in front of him, and he was, like, still with the girl yeah. in the back, but, like, also yelling at her. And then she, like, literally drove her own car and pulls up to his house, and we pull up to his house at, like, the same exact time. Well, we, like, are in my car, and I turn my headlights off, and we literally sit there because we hear yelling going on. Yeah. And I was like, guys, don't get out. Like, let's just listen and see what happens. And we hear him yelling at her and he's like i'll punch your other fucking eye out yeah like i did before and i was like holy shit and one of the girls your other eye and the girl's standing there 
Yeah, I and like they have this huge there. staircase up to their front door from where you first walk in. And one of our friends starts recording it. And all of a sudden, you see him push her, and she falls down the staircase. And all of us get out of this car. And we're like, what the fuck is wrong with you? We start running. He goes, he goes, what the fuck's going on? What the fuck's going on? And, like, what else did he say? He was like, like, get, get the, the fuck, fuck out of here. Yeah. Who the fuck told you to come here? Like, I'm just saying a bunch of shit. And we're like, get in the car and leave. We're like, you have to get in the car and leave. I don't know why you're, you're still going through this. She, like, walked up to the car afterwards because we stayed there. She walked up to the car afterwards because she realized we were there. She didn't even know when she was getting yelled at and, like, the whole situation was happening. We were like, dude, we heard him say, like, punch the other eye. And she's like, it's okay, it's okay, he's not going to. Like, And then we're like, we heard that whole thing. We watched him push you. Like, our friend like, has it on video. Yeah, like, like <laughs> literally the, the whole conversation, like, literally filmed it. And it was really, honestly, like, watching that, I was like, literally, you're a piece of shit. And... We have, like, blast- blacklisted from all of the events, and every time people ask him for, like, him to come, like, o- on our birthday party, apparently he was, like, begging to come and, like, was trying to figure out how to get in, and we were like, absolutely not. You're yeah, literally no. blacklisted. Like, you are literally a piece of garbage, and we tell every person the story of what you did because it's, like, that you're, you can't you can't be out here and be, like, a public influencer in the eye, or not influencer, a rapper in, like, the eye of a bunch of people and, like they love you and then just be a piece of shit like and to have the other girl stand next to him that he was like cheating on her with the whole entire time and not do anything like he pushed her down the stairs and you still want to be on top of him and like go inside the house with him like you're a fucking weirdo you're a groupie like don't be that girl yeah that for real. goes after these fucking rappers or these like social media influencers that are literally known for raping underage girls and stuff like that to to make yourself feel cooler to because you get to be with someone with clout. Like, that's not being someone with clout. That's, like, you're literally putting yourself into their twisted mind games and their twisted what they do. Like, even in friendships, like, we were at a club. Shout out Poppy. <laughs> we were at the club and, like, uh, there was, like, a whole friend group around us. And, like, they're, they're re- very well known on social media. And one of the people were um, an actor. And the actor had a girlfriend at the time and the the person that everyone loves so much was trying to convince her friend to get with that guy that night to sleep with that guy that had a girlfriend and she knows the girlfriend she's friends with their girlfriend and she was trying to get her other friend that she's friends with to get with that guy to sleep with him that night like literally screaming at her to do it and she he's literally in a relationship with someone and i'm like that's a little bit weird and I'm hearing this whole story this whole conversation go on behind me and then I go on Instagram and like literally the day before like she had put the other girl the girlfriend had put like a picture of them too on like her story being like love her or whatever and it's like that's like the weirdest shit I've ever seen in my life like now you're out here and like telling another person that like is it just for your own, own entertainment is it because they think that they're like the people who are on top think that they're literally indestructible, that nothing can hurt them, that they are above everyone else. So they think that whatever they do, however they treat a human being, they're going to get away with it because no one's going to do anything because of these people that sit there and watch it and are like groupies and are like they don't care what they do. And, but, oh, I can't wait for our guest to come on because the celebrity stories that she has are literally like, yeah, your guys' jaws are going to be dropped on to the goddamn floor. But there's a big rapper that I know that everyone knows and everyone definitely has his music saved. Um, <clears throat> and he, for some reason, would always pull up to one of the content houses that I lived in. And he also came to mine and Alex's birthday. And every single time that I've hung out with him or anything, a gun has been pulled out. And that's the type of shit that, like, I don't fuck with because it's like, bro, you're literally coming to our, like, content house and, like, you're trying to start beef for what? And so there's a lot of hotheads. But there's also a lot of good celebrities that I know, like Trippy Red and his whole friend group are super dope, super down to earth, really nice people. Little TJ, I just kicked it with him. He's so funny. We literally went skating, played basketball, and, like, shopped for some candles. Like, he's so dope. Um, the chain smokers, me and Alex know, literally the most nicest and humbled people ever. Sean Kingston, always a nice guy. Every time I see him, he always says hi to me. 
Um, yeah, all those. Like, there's some good, like, there's good celebrities and there's bad celebrities. Like, you know, like. Yeah. And also, it depends on when you meet them. Like, you have to, it depends on when you meet them. Because sometimes they're in, like, a fan environment and they're going to be, like, super nice and they're going to be super, like, attentive or, like, at an event where they, like, are paid to be there. So, like, they need to be, like, on the top of their, like, game. Mm-hmm. And then there's times where you're hanging out with them just, like, in their house. And then that's when you see, like, the true moment of, like, how they are, like, how they actually act, to be honest, I think. We have two guests today. Um, Double trouble. Yes, we are so excited that they are here. (laughs) Please introduce yourselves and tell me a little bit about what you guys do. Should I go first? Duh, ladies first. (laughs) Okay, so I'm Lila Gibney. I am 24 years old. I'm trans, and I have been, like, a creator for, like, four or five years now, just sharing my, like, story on, like, hectic fucking, like, celebrity hookups to like transitioning and surgeries and like all this nonsense of life in LA um and yeah I'm so honored to be here honestly Woo-hoo. I'm excited to talk a lot yeah <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Fucking gums. I think that's awesome for both of us though because we both love to talk anyways hi guys my name is Amari uh I've been a creator for like four years now I'm 23 years old so I was in college and then I was like this is kind of boring like I think I, wanna, I, wanna, I think I want to entertain <laughs> people so then I was like yeah, I'm going to go out there and take on the world. And I would say my content's not like, I'm not a comedian, but I really enjoy making people laugh. They're like, yeah. just like, you know, my vlogs, whatever. These two probably are two of the funniest like, people yeah, like I've ever met. Actually. For real. Yeah. <laughs> actually. <laughs> He's like, I don't mean to make people laugh, but I'm dying every time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> him, so it's like, Ooh. what the fuck? Oh <laughs> that makes me, me happy. Amari, like, since the first time I came to visit LA, like just for a week when I came for the first time, like I met Amari. And so I feel like we've literally, and that was when I was literally just a boy, like flopping around <laughs> Wait, LA. Wait, should we like, tell them the story of how we met? Absolutely. <laughs> I want to hear it. I want to hear it. This bitch stalked <laughs> us. <laughs> okay, no, I have to like, let's put some things out on the line first. So I was in LA. I was going to like Iowa State. Like, I don't know. I like went to college. She's educated, you know. Um, And I came to LA and I like went to this fashion show thing. And then I like was like a fan or something. And, <laughs> and I saw that like Amari and Tana were at like a hookah bar and mm-hmm. Tana tagged the location as Koreatown. So my psychotic ass was like at my Airbnb in West Hollywood and I typed in on Google hookah bars in Koreatown. And I literally <laughs> called the fucking Uber Express pool and gassed into the first one I saw and y'all were outside. And I was like, oh, like I've seen you guys before. <laughs> <laughs> No, 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 not even like that though. She's like wasted. She's like, bitch, like, <laughs> get out of here. And like, I think it was like so meant to I was be like, though. I swear I've seen yeah. you on Twitter. <laughs> no, I think it was so meant to be too. And like, we knew who Lila was before because we would see her tweets on Twitter. And we were like, this oh, like, is literally. Yeah, and we were oh like, this. God. I was like, insane. No, we were like, this by far is our funniest like fan. <laughs> like, but like, we like would remember Stalker your bench. name. No, we like remembered your name because we were like, this This is the iconic one. And, and honestly, I give y'all credit. I don't enough. And it, like, for even like ever starting my like YouTube, because ever since I met you guys that first time, y'all were always DMing me. Like, I would be in class at Iowa State and y'all would be like, please just fucking daily vlog. Like, please just put mm-hmm. something on the fucking internet. And then I was like, oh, okay. Like, it's always so yeah, funny yeah. and entertaining. Yeah. And then I like got arrested for telling the cop to like shut up. And then Amari wore my mugshot hoodie. <laughs> <laughs> and then our friendship was never the same. No, yeah, she was selling mugshot hoodies. And then uh, it was Christmas. And Tan and I like, we always get each other like good gifts, but then we always get each other something that's just like funny gift. or yeah, like a gag yeah. gift. And she pulls out like these mugshot hoodies. It's like two like matching ones for uh, Tana and I. It's Lila's mugshot, and we were dying. <laughs> we still have them. We still have them. I was gonna say I think it's so funny that Tana can't even keep like a piece of clothing for an hour without ruining it or losing it. But y'all still have the, the mugshot, mugshot hoodies. hoodies. Did you guys ever take a photo of you guys all together wearing? No, it? we never no. have. No way. You guys have day. to do that. Yeah. Honestly, down. How did you guys meet? That's what I want to know. <laughs> we were wondering that on the way here, and um, I think it was Ari or like Amari. They were like, "Are they cousins?" And I was like, no, they're not fucking cousins. You never know. Yeah. Well, our faces look alike, hella, right? Yeah, and like you guys are just yeah. like so close. Like, yeah, so, you know, so it's like, like sometimes. We did like, a whole podcast about this. Yeah. It's, a, it's kind really? of a whole moment. Technically, <laughs> if you just like look at it over like the overtop, we got with the same guy. And that's how we met. No. Really? Yeah. <laughs> oh, our friend group would never. <laughs> <laughs> right. There'd be like knives and like pots of pants oh, throwing. And, oh, my but, God. But like we didn't. So she Broken had, veneers. She had like a low key. I don't even thing ish thing. Yeah. And like I didn't Here, know that. In LA? So they, there was like a. I don't she, even know I, how to. She, she didn't know. She was completely unaware of the in whole In LA switch. though. Yeah. Because you're from but, where? 
San Diego. I'm Basically, they had like a thing, not so thing. I don't know. And then I like was talking to him. And he's like, oh, come over to our content house. And then it led to like us fucking. And then hate when that <laughs> happened. And then she found out and started hating <laughs> me. And then they like were a thing. Oh and my god, this is taking after me that, back. They started dating, and then we all three of us lived with each other. Whoa, <laughs> I remember that. And the I was three like, of you lived together for a year. For a year. How well, was that? I don't that? know how you guys He's did that. He's an asshole, and yeah. he tried to kill both of us and like stab us. Like actually tried well, to kill you guys. Like actually, like have a photo screenshot of him being like, "I'm gonna kill Dana with this gun." No, like, like, <laughs> I hate when that happens. Did we so. get the police involved or anything? Or? It, to be honest, I think he like honestly probably was in love with her the whole time. That's why he hated no. her. He literally hated her so fucking much. No. Wait, did y'all y'all live that was the content house Bella Thorne's old like? Yes, and then the YSK and then the Fulton. Fulton. Yes. Oh my god, the um, uh, what is it called? Like the, she had like spray paint on the toilet. Yeah, yeah and like the clouds and yeah. Yeah. wait, that really? That was our very first house in LA. Oh my god, that's crazy. Bella's mom like ran this content house with our old manager. Fucking Tamara. Yeah, Tamara. yeah. No, I I just like it's funny because like that house I used to go there She's so often because like when Tana and Bella would date like oh, that yeah, was yeah. the house that she was living in. Like I remember like her fucking like little like teepee like fucking bed. She like, was just like rotting it with no, her hair. No mean to call out Bella at all, but we did. We found so much. We found stuff old. We, old, we found old house. Polaroids. Wait, what do you mean? We found like, old Polaroids of her and Tana. We found really? old notes. No. So they just didn't like, clear it so out well. Her and like stuff. it was not Jake or something. No, we had to clean it all out by ourselves. So like. Like all of her like old bags and all of her old stuff was like still she just there. vanished. We had to, like, take it to the garage and so through really? that all process, her clothes there too. like we found so much of like her stuff and uh -huh. like like all, sex like, toys galore. Yeah. Like, oh yeah, <laughs> like the weirdest drugs I've ever seen in my life. Like yeah. the weirdest like that's things crazy. I've ever seen they're like cleaning under the couch. There's like glitter life. and like a pill. And it was, like, yeah, yeah, no, 100%. no, it was that. And, and then one of the girls came to move in and she was gonna just use the mattress from upstairs. And then we took off like the mattress cover and it was like covered in like just pee like all <laughs> what oh <laughs> not the pee oh, not the excited. pee that's actually been a recent kink of mine not pushing pee shit <laughs> not pushing, yeah. <laughs> that's been a recent kink of yours yeah this daddy peed on me and like i wasn't mad <laughs> i hooked up with somebody and he pissed in my bed and i woke up in it Okay, so I peed in somebody's no. bed too, Recently, and like, yeah. no. It was, it, no, it was one of the most traumatic. I you honestly peed post, in I posted a story time on TikTok because it was <laughs> it's one of my funniest stories. Like, long, long, long story short, I went to Poppy, nothing fucking new. Woke up in someone <laughs> random's bed, and I was like, where the fuck am I? Phone dead. Awesome. I was like, wait, why am I wet? Oh I was God, drenched. I, I peed oh, myself. You, this story was gonna. Laugh. I peed myself, and I was like, I got that fucked up. Wait, first of all, where am I? Second of all, why are I? Why am I covered in pee? So I was like, okay, my phone's dead. Let me see if they have a charger. Nothing. Awesome. So I grabbed my heels and I left. And I was like, I've lived in LA for four years. Where the fuck am I? Like, I, I knew nothing. And it was right by the Hollywood Bowl. Like, it's, okay. it's a very familiar area. I just didn't know where I was at the time. Walked into a random hotel, and I was like. Hi, I got really drunk last night. Like, do you guys have a charger? Like, my like friends, like sugar daddy, booked her room. So not true. No one was, no one was staying at the hotel. She wouldn't help me, so she printed out directions like fucking sixth grade, Dude, like from the bus this. stop, this so, so I could walk home two point seven miles to my apartment. And so I start walking barefoot <laughs> in Hollywood, covered in pee, no, wait. covered in pee, full IMG outfit, and I'm like, no, the <laughs> only thing that can make this better is Starbucks. I go into Starbucks. They decline me. Obviously, I'm barefoot, covered in pee, and I don't have a mask. So I'm, that, <laughs> you look so like a crackhead. I look like a crackhead. So at that point, I'm pissed. I'm in living. your IMG. Yeah. In my You're like, take IMG. the top. It's, it's valuable. <laughs> <laughs> this is worth something. <laughs> Sell this shit on Depop. <laughs> so I start walking. Some guy pulls over really fucking hot. And he's like, do you need like a ride? And at the time, like I was just still fucked up and like drunk still. So I literally sounded like I smoked 100 packs of cigarettes a day and literally sounded like somebody grandpa and so then he like called me a tranny and drove off so then at that point i'm crying and i'm just like and then i peed myself again didn't you get on the back of a homeless person's bike and then i'm walking <laughs> and I, st I step in glass my foot starts gushing blood i'm like this is literally awful like this literally could not get any worse phone's still dead covered in pee and blood and then i'm like Okay, this homeless man's like on, like doing <laughs> laps or like he's doing laps around me like a vulture, and I'm like, okay, <laughs> and I'm like, he's kind of hot, like whatever, I'd fuck, like, <laughs> and he, he's like, the homeless man, he's, he's like, you need a lift, and I'm like, 
Yeah. <laughs> so I thought he was going to ask me to get on like, the, what, you know, like in sixth grade when like you'd stand on the, like the pegs. Yes, the pegs. The peg. yep. And I was like, am I about to stand on the back of this man's bike? And But no, he just gave me the bike. And he's, like, <laughs> he's like, where do you live? And I just point at my building because it's like tall. So you could see it from where we were like walking. And he goes, okay, I pick up. <laughs> I go, okay. It didn't even have brakes. And so I'm like gassing it through Hollywood, full curled blowout, like covered in pee and blood. Like What time of day is it? 10 a.m. Imagine like <laughs> someone like on their way to like Runyon and they just like pass and you're just like and curls I, blowing in the wind on a bike, like no shoes. And I, like, know I, had to, I know I had to have seen someone that has like met me or known me in my life. Absolutely. Like I, I know somebody who saw me. Getting to your, like you live in <laughs> central Hollywood. Everyone like, lives the- there. <laughs> Imagine me passing like Yolk and like the like Breakfast Club, just like going. <laughs> <laughs> you guys ever right. had to like sneak in or like hop a fence? Or okay, a wait, I have a great <laughs> story. Um, this is like what three years ago? I feel like um, it was so Tana and I went to and a couple other of us like we had a show with MTV mm-hmm. and Tana turns twenty one. If you guys have ever seen it, I'm an MTV <laughs> reality star. <laughs> Thank you, God. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, but. So we, they sent us to the VMAs because VMAs is through MTV, whatever. And that was really fun. We were there for like a week or like four or five in days. New York? Yeah, in New York. Hot. And so that was super fun. And then there was like a two day intermission uh, between VMAs and Fashion Week. And Tana was like, let's go back for Fashion Week because no one else wanted to go back. And okay. I was like, shit, I had so much fun in New Done. York. Let's go back. But like on our two day intermission, or I think it might've been like naughty, like 32 hour intermission. We were Holy like, shit. we were like, oh shit, the chain smokers are having a party at this fat ass mansion. Like it in was New where, York? no, back oh, in LA. Oh, you came back yeah, to LA. Yeah, came back to LA from the VMAs, 32 hour intermission before our next flight out. Oh. And we're like, we get off the plane. Like Tana's like glamming on the plane. Like that's how you know, like <laughs> oh, she wants to be somewhere. Exactly. She's like glamming on the plane. Like I'm like, Thinking about what's in my suitcase, like what can I like take out and like just oh, put that's on. Oh, that's like telekinesis. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. I'm like, yeah. I wore this in New York, but we're in LA now. No one's gonna know. No one's. Okay. <laughs> so then, um, we we go to this party and we're not on the list. Like what? Like this is three years ago. What fucking chains? I'm like, I'm with Alex. Like right. no, no. <laughs> like that's not how that works. But um, Brooke was there. Have you guys met Brooke? She was like a point of contact. That was like when we were first, like the very first time I met her in person, I'm pretty sure. Unless I met her a few times. I think she's always said that I met her a few times before actually like remembering I was meeting her. But like yeah. this is my first time remembering meeting her. So she was our point of contact there. I didn't know her very well. Tana didn't know her very well either, but knew her well enough to like, you know, and she was talking to one of the chain smokers at the time. Honestly, don't know which one. Like, don't, I don't know the I don't difference. I don't know the difference like, either. Alex no, yeah. and who? What's other? Alex and Drew. Oh, one of them right. lives one right one next one. to me. Like, literally lives really? like yeah, three, four houses up. Yeah. Oh. It's so crazy. Like, fast forward now. Three uh-huh. Years. I'm like, hey, neighbor. <laughs> Couldn't get into your party. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, we're like texting Brooke, but the service is awful. Do you know how it would be sometimes? Like, in the hills and all AT&T, that bullshit. AT&T, come on. Right. <laughs> and so, we like walk up to this house. We have friends leaving. It's like, um... Like Sydney Carlson and like some of those people, Yo. like some friends, whatever. And they're like, we're like, oh, how is it? They're like, it's fun, but we're leaving, blah, blah, blah. We're like, okay, cool. Like, yeah, we're totally going we're right not. in. Yeah, we're like, we're totally going right in there. Duh. Like, not on the list. Like, <laughs> we're like, how the fuck is going to happen? We walk up to this gigantic gate, like huge. And then like the gate only opens for like Rolls Royces to pull in. And like, I think I the remember. The Suburban. No, yeah, the Suburban. So I think I remember seeing like. Bozzy and like Chris Brown and like all these other people just like, like rolling in in their nice ass cars. Chris Brown. <laughs> yeah. No, exactly. And so we walk up to the security guard and we're like, hey, like our names are blah, blah, blah. And like, Tana and Amari, like we're with, da, da, da. And they're like, no. We're like, huh? Like, no, we hey, swear we're on the list. No. We know we're not on the list. At all. No, exactly. And we're just like going back and forth with them for so like, long. we just texted Alex. He no. said you added him. Like, <laughs> <laughs> exactly. They're like, Alex is coming. He's not going to be happy about this one. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> and so Stop. give it some time Oof. and Tana and I are like uh like we're not getting let in like what the fuck do we do so then another Rolls Royce pulls up don't know who it is but they're going in the gate the gate's open for it and we're like do we just fucking storm it like run through like what's the worst that's gonna well, happen where was the security oh they're like all like lined up on the there were like three of them honestly okay. but, like the gates like stayed shut so like there's like one security on the other side of the gate one security in front of the gate like okay, hot. you know and they're just like so annoying I'm like why is this place so secure like fuck you guys like come on <laughs> right. so the gates open up and Tana and I just like start running and I've never seen first of all I've never seen Tana run <laughs> I've never seen Tana run so fast in my entire life and then the security grabs her and I'm not kidding you like launched her like imagine her getting flung like tapins ripped uh, no out. I see her just like fly she's like ah! 
hard. <laughs> I was like, and then I stopped running. And I'm like, honestly, I should stop. And I'm like, the security is like running up on me. And I'm like, sorry, 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 sorry. <laughs> like just backing up. Cause I'm like, uh, uh-uh, uh, this is not going to be, real. this uh-uh. is, I'm like, I don't want to get thrown. <laughs> right. Cause I'll, I'll, really down this, right, I'll go it. rolling down the hill. Like <laughs> I'm gone with the wind, bitch. So then, um, we're like, okay, we're not getting into this. So like, we need to figure something else out. We walk down this hill and we walk up one street further because it's a big ass house. Do you remember? Oh, when- y'all didn't give up. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> um, do you remember when I was like, I think an unruly had a party at this house when like Lil Wayne was performing. Yeah. Yeah. It was that house. That exact like, house? Yes. That exact house. It's huge. And there's like so many levels to okay. it. Like so much yeah. space, whatever. There's like a field, like so much space. So we walk up the street, like Hot because we're like, oh my god, we're, <laughs> we're like ab- now we're like overlooking the like field of the house, but we're like at someone else, some like we'll, we'll get there. We're at someone else's house, but there's like what looked like like a corn maze, but it wasn't corn. <laughs> yeah. It was just like a bunch of like tall bushes. Okay, but like we're looking through and we're like, okay, well we see the party down there. So if we just get through these bushes, and like two plus two is four. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so we're like, okay, if we just get through these bushes and like walk down, then technically like. We're technically in the party. Like, if we we would be running through the field, like looking like idiots, but like, right. we're, yeah, who cares? <laughs> and so we're like phone flashlights on, like looking through the bushes, like trying to see where we could maneuver to get in. And then this man comes out of his house and he's got a flashlight. And he's like, "What are you guys doing?" And he's like, probably like mid forties, like looks like um like El Chapo, like is gonna okay. like kill us, like Got literally, like a fucking no, fish. yeah, giving like the hills have eyes or something, like I, I this could be the end, this <laughs> right. could very much be the end. He's like, what are you guys doing? And we're like, oh, like we're going to a party, like our friends gave us directions to come through this, like to come through these bushes, like and go down this way, like. And like we're going oh, to that party over there. Always on with the lies. Oh you're yeah, because we didn't want to die. Like he could have very yeah. much. He could have had a shotgun in his hand, and we could have been like, right, That's um, BB gun your ass. Right. <laughs> so then we're like trying to like we're just like barding with this man. We're like oh yeah, like I swear, like our friends told us like that party over there. Like we have to go through here. Like that's what. And then he's like, no, like get the fuck off my property. But we're like going back and forth because we're like we want into this party. Like, yeah, you're not stopping. Yeah, and Brooke's not texting back. Thank thank you, Brooke, for not fucking texting <laughs> back. <this>. Like <laughs> so worth Thanks, it. Seriously. Mindy. <laughs> <laughs> so then we're like this man's gonna kill us and we're like okay wait hold on we're gonna call our friend right now and we like walk away from like the bushes just get a little bit further and we're like pretending to be on the phone and we just run run back down the hill Stop. run back to like where the party's at <laughs> finally brooke texts us and it's like i'm at the gate where are you guys because she was supposed to be the one like helping us get it's in it's always after the fact exactly like, i needed you an hour ago right like i literally just almost died like so then <laughs> We go up to the gate, and Brooke is like, oh, wait, no, they're definitely supposed to be in here. Like, let them in. And security is like, well, I'd love to, but they just tried storming the gate 25 minutes ago. Oh, We're like, shit. that wasn't us. Like, <laughs> that, that wasn't I us. I don't remember that. No, yeah, and then finally, like, so much arguing, like, went on. Like, Brooke was like, no, let them in. We're like, come on, come on. Looks so good. Like, why wouldn't you want to let us in? Like, the chain smokers love us. I'm they don't even have, know who the fuck I'm we are. I'm going to have you fired. <laughs> <laughs> You're never working another day in your life. <laughs> yeah, so give it a couple minutes of like arguing and then finally the gates open and we're like, we made it. Done and done. Uh-huh. And then after that, I was like, I need like 20 shots. Clocking this, out. Yeah, I was like, I need 20 shots because this just isn't fair. Like I, what I went through. you're like not allowed is like, Oh, the most exhausting show. Uh huh. And especially like three years ago, like having like less followers being so much less important. But at the same time, I'm like, I just came from the VMAs. Yeah, <laughs> like, I was on the carpet. Chain smokers are like, yeah, we've been to 30 of them. I like, really <laughs> like, it's all about, like, confidence and, like, like one network. No, like, you yeah, need one facts. connect and then, like, one na- Like, even, like, a name. Like, you don't even have to know a soul, but uh-huh. like, you know that name. Like, uh-huh. first, yeah, exactly. I'm, I'm no, that's with, true. Like, me every time at off sense, I'm with Carter and Tracy. <laughs> <laughs> I remember Trevi used to, like, um, bring people to On the Rocks all the time. Uh-huh. And, like, tell people that the passcode was, like, Penelope. <laughs> like, and, like, and Wait, it worked. Like, like, Princess Penelope or something. And so you just walk up, and even if you didn't know anything, like, d- like what was going on. It. Princess Penelope, they're like. (laughs) 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 We're like, so sick. You used to like. Do you remember that time her phone died in New York, and she literally went to her place, grab or no, she broke her phone and grabbed her MacBook Pro to go to the club, (laughs) so she could like I message people. It connected to the Wi-Fi like at like One Oak in New York, and it's like. (laughs) <laughs> like, try to, in the, like stay home 
Just stay home. Yeah. Uh, like, <laughs> like that computer and... Wait till tomorrow. Take your ass to AT&T or Sprint or whatever the fuck. And get a new phone. The club's gonna yes. be there tomorrow, I promise. I cannot. Oh my God. I feel like that's a lesson you need too. It's like the club will be there tomorrow. You don't have to go out Wait, every single... I feel like you would bring an iPad to like get your snap Done. and shit. Absolutely. <laughs> Literally yesterday my phone broke and my friend was like, ugh, here's my daddy phone. Just take it. And I'm like, perfect. I can God. still go out. <laughs> No, but that's like another thing about LA is that like you also like have an experience like you explaining that party like the unruly one like you have an experience with somebody or like hook up with somebody or like whatever 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 and like they perform at a party and you're like oh like hey little (laughs) way no (laughs) yeah so what are some stories about that miss girl yeah especially I feel like you have so many like rapper like Like NBA all star I know my friends are like Lila move on like data like try and fuck a like try and like hook up with like a singer or like an actor or like an accountant you like (laughs) getting like a Glock up your cooch like next like (laughs) okay yeah so it all started like when I was like I've always been very out there. You guys have known me forever. Like, even with a fucking wig glued down to my eyebrow, like, I was always, like, walking in. Like, I was the only bitch that existed. And so, like, a couple years ago was my first, like, really, like, run in with, like, anyone rapper or anything like that. And it was, like, it was Chris Brown's party. My friend was, like, hooking hooking up with him. And then my other friend was hooking up with his friend. Yeah. And then at the time, we were, like, going to Sean Kingston's all summer, like, doing fucking shrooms in his backyard. Like, just, like, having the, like, best summer ever with Sean Kingston. Because he's, like, such a big teddy bear. Like, he just, like, pre- he just, like, his little protector. Like, he knew everything about me. And he, like, always defended me, which I think is, like, so important. Like, and makes me yeah, respect you that cool much guy. more. Um, and he invited us to this party. So I walk in, fucking blonde wig, headband, and, like, IMG a sweatpants. Like, whatever. And within 30 seconds, Vic was still outside waiting with his disco ball on, like our fucking driver. And oh Chris God. Brown with his whippet canister and his friend, who I ended up literally having sex with a year later after I got my pussy done, um, came up to me with a gun and said, you got to go. And I was like, ugh, such a bummer, but okay. <laughs> so I left, started bawling. <laughs> and I, it's just like. They think I feel like so many people in LA like do all this stuff like behind closed doors and like have all this power. Yeah. They, like, oh, I'm so and so. Oh, like I have all these people, all my little minions and all this, and I'm just mm-hmm. like. But also, do they not trash. think that you're gonna like talk about it? Or, right. like, they're gonna get away like, with if, it. If you think I'm keeping my mouth closed, you need to send me the zone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> send me a fucking wire transfer. <laughs> <laughs> And I swear to God, everywhere I go, like in Miami, like it's like Chris Brown just like flopping around with his sunken cheekbones. I'm just like. Here we go again. Like, I guess. Have you, like, seen him after that? Absolutely. Like, multiple times. And different. has he, like, tried to, like, say things to you after that? There was one time we were at, like, a party and he tried to. No, no, no. We were off Sunset. And I was, like, with people who, like, knew people who had, like. And I I go out every single night. So, like, honestly, thank God, like, I've made so many connections. Because yeah. it's, like. Well, yeah, I would now, hope now, so. Now you can't tell me shit. Yeah, like, you for want real. me gone? I want you gone. Yeah, for real. <laughs> so, yeah, it just. Ugh, the rapper scene I need to get out of. I need to, like, retire that world. Because it honestly, like, even when, like, Lil Wayne flew me to fucking Miami. And then, I, like, I saw a tweet that he, like, had HIV or something. So I was like, oh, maybe I shouldn't fuck him. Like, maybe I shouldn't, like, <laughs> do this. And then, like, all night I was just so scared that he's going to show up to the hotel that he bought me and, like, pull a fucking gun on me in my sleep. And I was going to wake up, like, literally in Columbia. Yeah, but, like. But yeah. I didn't. Lil he Wayne. told me to, like, choke on a dick. Like, I don't know. Lil Wayne? Yeah. But he's, like, so what? short. Like, literally five sex. Yeah, like, you go up his ass. <laughs> Right, my six two ass. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> bitch, with bitch, my fucking bitch. stiletto. Oh my god, braids in hand. Like, bitch, bitch, bitch. Both of you going back and forth. And he's like up to my tail. Right, you're like, I got, I got the reach. I do the knee. <laughs> Yeah. Oh my god! But I, I want to I want to hear a story from you guys because I feel like you guys have experienced a lot of crazy shit too. Just like living in content houses, especially because like you guys have lived uh, in like the most content houses. Yeah, of, I've ever like, seen. Like I've always no, like, like we've lived in like twelve. Like, yeah, so bad. and I feel no, like content so houses many. are so much like crazy drama. Like whether it's like amongst like the creators or like creators versus like the management. Or like I don't like, know. Like ask a lot of us a question. Experience. Like we've asked you questions. Like ask us a question. Have you guys we'll ever sued story. anybody? So she has, but she can't talk about it. Uh-huh. No, die. Like, legally. But we were in, like, a side-suing thing where pretty I love much... a side thing. Pretty much, like, you know, what's his face? Duh. You know him. Love him. Yeah. Um, I don't even know. Are we, like, allowed to talk about that either? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> She's like, uh-uh. So both uh-uh. the times that we were involved with something, we like, can't talk about it. But uh-huh. I almost... Like, like I, to, I, to be honest, people... I just uh, Have you guys ever been sued yourselves? 
That's I had to yeah. counter sue me getting sued. Oh, okay, okay. And then have you guys ever had to like sue like or I wanna talk about like um because I love like the whole like creator industry, like contracts with like brands and everything like that. Like, do you guys ever have any like brand deals from hell where like you're just dealing with the brand and you're like, ew, fuck them at this point. Like, no, this is yeah, such so bullshit. Many, like, like, so fucking. I hell. hate like when you like work your ass off <laughs> no, on something and you turn it I, in and then they're just no, like, like, this sucks. And yeah, like, or and, like that's fine. Like, but like specify in the content briefing what you want. Or literally. I hate not. There's nothing I hate more than like. Um, a brand like getting upset that like they like it didn't convert well like something like oh my god they're like oh like, we didn't get a lot of sales I'm like sorry your fucking product sucks yeah like, at this like, point, like sorry baby, you should have given me something else like, I, right I'm no like, and what I hate the most is that when they have this huge script and they want you to read it word for word and do exactly this and you're like okay bet and they're like okay that's perfect then it performs like shit. And then they're like, what the fuck is this? I'm like, well, if I had the creative freedom yeah, I to know made it my better. following, right? like if, if and I maybe used I could... my, like, my comedy and the like, creative exactly. direction uh-huh. myself, I'm like, oh shit, what have looked like uh-huh. that? Or when the, oh my God, when they give you like a long ass script and they're like, like, they're paying for like three Instagram story frames and it's like, I'm like, this is going to be like 12 Instagram story frames. Like, what do you mean? Oh you just gave God. me so much. So now I'm like, now I'm speed <laughs> reading like Trisha Paytas. Because I'm like, I'm getting, my, right, I'm getting my bank for my buck, bitch. You are not getting any more stories I mean, out of hey, me. Hey, welcome to the place of the movie. <laughs> what? <laughs> Actually, you want to know a funny Ellen. story that you guys will get a kick out of? Wait, yeah. love. Okay, okay, ready? So I don't even know how many years ago it is now, but... um. Before social media, Alex Umazo showed up outside of TanaCon oh, at, fuck. at 7 in the morning or 7.30 a.m. And I Stop. stood in that line. I stood in that line for motherfucking hours. You know that bitch had third degree I, blisters. Uh, right. It, it was hot up in it, Anaheim. <laughs> I, I get inside and I literally hid in a men's restroom because they were trying to kick everyone out right yeah. and i ended up Ugh, being in that la- you know that <laughs> you know that last group of cre- of people who were in that like no matter like the last group of people who were allowed in tanacon like there was just like one person or like talking i don't even think i saw tana for two seconds uh-huh. she was in a neon outfit and she was with adam 22 uh-huh. and that's like the only time Yo. i saw her that's the only time <laughs> i saw her but i hid I in that bathroom Ran in, walk or hopped over the um, barrier uh-huh. that was there because they kicked everyone below behind the barrier out, and I was like living my life. And there's like videos of me singing. And then after that day, I got in my car, I took a Snapchat, and I said, "I'm gonna become a social social media creator by next year." And you did it. I'm fucking sitting here. Wait, you weren't on social media like before that? I wasn't at all. I literally what was just that, four went. Four years ago or more? Uh, I feel like it ha- yeah, like four years ago probably. It That's makes me crazy. so sad because Tanacon like. It would have been fucking awesome. It could have been insane, yeah. Yeah, it could have been insane. And the whole, like, going head-to-head with VidCon, like, that was, like, crazy. Powerful. Like, it was just, like, such a vibe. Yeah, yeah, I still still had a good time. It made me want to do social media. No, exactly. That's what's cool, though, is that it inspired you. Yeah. To, like, get You're like, I'm going to throw my... I'm throwing Alex Con, bitch. (laughs) (laughs) No, but I remember that. Like, that's, like... That was one of my stories where, actually, there was a lot of creators walking around in the halls... At mm-hmm. that moment, and that's like where I met, like for the first time, some of the people where I was like, "Oh, this is so, this is so." It takes cool. that one experience to like literally uh-huh. get oh shit. Yeah. yeah, and then you watch all the con, the stuff behind it, and like all the stuff that happened now, like like when they made the documentary about it and stuff like yeah. that, and it's like so many other people did. Like the did the one. event so dirty, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, and then Tana had to sit there and be like, I'm sorry for doing that. But in reality, if you really look at it, and then now that we're here, I understand how the fuck that would be. Yeah. Because these people do sit in front of you, yeah. and Literally. they, like, promise you yeah, this and it's that. it's like the empty promises. Yeah. I'm like, don't worry, everything's okay. We've got it under it. control. <laughs> like, everything's going to be completely fine. Like, That's I feel like, yeah, background. with content houses. Like, I remember um, some of the girls at Not A Content House. Mm-hmm. Oh like, my god, I remember that shit like blowing out of the yeah. water. Yeah, it was like a big big summer blowout. <laughs> like it was crazy. <laughs> but I just remember them being like, oh yeah, like they're getting us a pink Lamborghini like, to drive around. And they like in. all like meanwhile like and haven't even like, had no. their sweet I'm 16. like, who said that? They're like, oh like I'm not gonna say his name or their yeah. names, but like um, like, oh, like, they said they're getting us a pink Lamborghini. I'm like, babe, you're, like, 15. Like, they're not going to get you a pink Lamborghini if you can't <laughs> drive it. They but ever like, so literally haven't even had their first day of freshman year. <laughs> 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 no, I'm like, but do your thing, though. And then I'm, like, also here, like, um, I'm, it was, like, Clubhouse. Like, that was, like, funding oh, all yeah. of that. Like, are you guys, did you guys ever work with Clubhouse? We lived in one of the we houses. Lived, yeah. Really? Wait, which one? <laughs> the St. Ives one. What was it, like, what was the name of it? It was the one with, like, the honey drip. I remember there being like the what? Wait, like he tried to start his own 
like OF agency, but we didn't even do OF. He just wanted us to like promote it on our pages and like let us live there. And it was like all these. Do you know um what what um Charlene? You know Charlene like. I don't know how I haven't lived in one of these. Like y'all just get to live in these fucking houses. Bro, and it, not story. one of them were lit though. Not one. Yeah, I, not I cannot one. name one of them. I feel them like it's always like, hell. Like it's always the people. Like there's so much drama with like boyfriends, friends, everything, or like the managers or like owners of the house or investors or something like scam them or like steal their money or like something so like no, they're like in prison. Like I don't know. Every single time it's failed, it's like either like someone scammed us or it was like a manager that was just shitty uh-huh. like, and i'm like isn't that stressful like when it stops like what y'all are just stuck on the street or like well where the fuck when do it stops go? I, every single time i've always had a feeling when it's gonna end and i would be on my phone being like hey what's next let's run it up boom already got one alex let's go next one see ya right. like, we, <laughs> well, I, every time we left we left before it ended because you we guys saw are it always coming. like on to the next yeah so we're like next all right <laughs> and everyone would be sitting there and be like what are you guys gonna do what are you guys gonna do and we're like you guys always no, we'd be, like, we'd be like, <laughs> they're like, where are you going to go? And then, like, two weeks later, we're in another mansion. They're like, what we're the like, fuck? We're like, we don't know what's going on. Bart already knows what's going on. No, like, no, we have plans. Literally. I swear, like, I just remember, like, living in that townhouse, and I'd, like, wake up. Like, that was when I saw you guys a lot, and I would wake up, and, like, Romy and, like, everyone would be like, the next day, they'd be like, yeah, we're going to, like, Dan and Ogg's, like, new content house. I'm like, they're in another new mansion. <laughs> yeah, like, like, <laughs> did you guys ever live in, like, the drip crib? Yeah, yeah I, you did. I, you did. I basically I dated someone who lived there. They literally life. okay. In so that we house that you almost yeah. Lived we at. toured that house when we were looking for houses. The one with the pool. Yeah, Bro, shut up. <laughs> Where you like jump through the thingy or whatever. Like yes. yeah, we toured that house because we almost lived in it. But then it was just like I it told wasn't them. I was like, y'all cannot like the energy here. Like you guys. Can't. No, yeah, and we were like, no, we can't live so in the drip crib. That, no. Like inviting people over to our house and then being like, like just imagine someone walking into your house. And Wait, like, oh, did you look at it after? Yeah. After it was yes, a Yes, and I went there. Wait, after it was? Yeah. And they redid it. looked it. nice? It looked amazing. Shut up. Uh-huh. It looked good. It's like just like the space wasn't it fitting. Well, well I'm glad you guys didn't move in there. You would have had a lot of random people pulling up because everyone exactly. knows that Exactly, and we were like, uh, no. we would hate for someone to like, like invite friends over or something like that. And like, oh, this was the drip crab. We're like, Well, <laughs> also, right before the oh, drip crab ended, there was some rapper beef, and we were all there. And they what were What was playing. the rapper beef? Uh, I don't even know if I want to say the name. Say it. Because, I, nah, he he scares me a little bit. Say it. <laughs> I don't want to say it. Wait, but please? they were like, I'll tell you after. I'll tell okay. you after. But pretty much they were, they got mad over, like, you know how there's a little basketball court in the backyard? Yes. And, yeah, they got mad over a basketball game. And wait, on the, wait, Like, top it? by the, by, like, the side house. So, basically, they were, they, were, they like, beefed, and they literally, like, the shot two rappers? up. Oh, yeah. my God. Wait, they was shot it, up oh, my God, was backyard. it a little mosey? You're so <laughs> Lil Mosey's not a rapper, babe. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get one hey, thing here. Hey, you said here. it, not me. You hey, I, I still love that TikTok dance, though. So one bad bitch as you do one. I say so too big. What is the video you guys make up? That was like when TikTok first started. Me, oh, so fun. The thing is, me and Mosey are chill. It's just whenever I'm with him in like an event space or he just came over to kick it, there would always be some beef with like some other guy. And one time Drip Crib did get shot up one night. And, and that was so right scary. where they moved out. And the gun so that's thing what scares I'm saying. Me. So y'all moved in and there was like some activity going on. Like, no, my friend was hooking up with him for a while and I'm not even kidding. Like he had like this big house in Encino like by Sean's and like literally like they would hook up on his air mattress because he didn't even have a fucking bed. I'm like, you, you, you got to get it together. Wait, who was hooking up on the air mattress? Lil Mosey? <laughs> <laughs> And, oh my god! Just talking were, about this, I feel like I'm like, am I gonna get shot? No. That's like, <laughs> and the answer is Lila. yes. You will. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, that's literally why Kendra is working 24 seven to make sure that no one walks into my apartment with a fucking gun. I love your security. Her security, security. She puts them through like hell. The, the, yeah, through hell. So you She's know, like, the other day I called TJ. I go, my weed's getting delivered in five, but I accidentally like came to Rodeo. Can you just pay for it? And I'll like cash up you. <laughs> Of course. No way. They've, they've like put my groceries away. They've come outside when I was like in a suburban with my dog, but in a hurry and didn't want to bring my dog somewhere. And like, just, I just like put my dog out the window. I'm like, you still have your dog. dog. Of course. Love that because they see me have a couple a dogs. <laughs> <laughs> they see me have and a And I swear, when we saw the new dog, we're like, oh, but it'll be gone in two days. She still has the dog. So okay, I'm going to no, give you a random applause. It's for because that. she has so many people willing to like help with the dog too. Like, Thank she's God. Like, yeah. And honestly, I do like, and like, the best, like, yeah, are you, it's, I think it's the tequila. It happens to Caitlin. Um, <laughs> in the most, like, like uh, humble way, because you know me, I literally lived on the kitchen fucking floor and worked at McDonald's when I literally moved to L.A. Like, my place now is just so cute and nice and, like, no, good that if, so like, nice. somebody that doesn't live there, like, is like, oh, I'm so down to stay there and just, like, watch Daisy because yeah, it's in such a good part dope. of town. Yeah. Like, it's just, like, 
It's like, whatever. I'm like, thank God I don't have to pay for a fucking pet sitter. I'm out. I'm going to Miami. No, yeah, no she's going to always, it's like, it's a like group chat. She's like, okay, I'm going to Miami tonight at 8 p.m. All of a sudden, like, something, something, like this, like, daddy. I'm going to Paris tomorrow morning. What's that? No, exactly. She's like, who can watch Daisy? We're like, we have lives too. Like, <laughs> I'm like, you can bring your life to the pen team. Right. She's like, she's like, but like, think about like, the pool and like the security downstairs. Like, you're making everything so easy. Like, they'll do everything for you. I feel like we should touch base more on the daddies. Yeah, I agree. Go into it. Go into it. What's your craziest story? It, well, if I'm going to yeah, start I, off. I, I do want to tell like one crazy just like because it was like so like how is this actually real life? So the first house that I've ever lived in in L.A., not house, apartment. It was a studio. It was me, Walker. Do you know Walker? Yeah. Jar Cardi. Do you know Jar Cardi? Uh-huh. Jar Cardi and <laughs> Bree Olsen. All four of us. <laughs> What? We love Jacardi. I can't. Jar Cardi. I, can't. I love Jar Car. Right, Jar Car. I love like Jar Jar Binks. Where is he though? Somewhere in like. No, trust me, I know. <laughs> <laughs> oh. That sweat. one made me sweat. <laughs> no, I'm like literally drenched. <laughs> like the Marine Serrera's drenched. <laughs> oh, what's going on? What's the tea? Oh, there's no tea. Um. Oh. <laughs> well, anyways, um, basically that first apartment that I ever lived in LA was paid by a sugar daddy. And you got it. Yeah. And How'd you find him? My friend Brie Finesse. She was. Do probably, I, I think I know who Brie is, right? Dude, I can't tell if you or her are the best because. When I tell you that she got a I'm whole... I'm pretty shitty at my fucking job, honestly. But, like, you so finesse. But she got a whole, like, fucking apartment. And then he owned a whole house. Had two kids, but, like, divorced. So the kids were never there. Literally, one of the nights, I spent the night at his house. And he was like, oh, you can have this room. And I was like, I have a guy. And he goes, it's fine. It was like a princess bed. And we literally fucked in his daughter's bed. Perfect. Like, so fucked. And then, literally, the next day, we she goes Rodeo with him. And he's like, whatever you want in any store here, you have, like, six hours to, to buy whatever you want to Brie. And I was oh, just there. He, she got her a, a G-Wagon, white G-Wagon. What? Got yeah, her, so it's crazy because I feel like, like I finessed a lot. But, like, old homegirl I was friends with, like, you can, like, read yeah. my mind. She literally got a, like, G-Class Mercedes. Like, so many people have gotten, like, it's like, it's like why, why isn't my $5,000 a month house paid for for the next year yeah. in full? Why don't I literally have a license or a car? Like, I don't finesse yeah. the things that I actually f- should finesse. I'm just like, yeah, get me a jet. You don't need a fucking jet, bitch. You need your rent paid. (laughs) (laughs) Well, so a G wagon, finesse. Yeah, that's like that's. And I'm over here. That's my dream car. I was. Yeah, that's not. It's not like that's like a a twenty-four thousand dollar. I remember when I was living. Like, and do you remember when I was living? Like, we had two people living in the living room at at Romy and Steph's. Oh, and Romy and Romy would save up for so long and she would rent like a G Wagon or something for like one day. And I think like, like, it would change my life. I'm like the one day. That's cute. It was so cute. Or she would rent like like the the BMW i8 that has like the butterfly oh, the door. door. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but mine are always like very different finesses. Like this one guy, like he is the CEO of like a brand that like literally every single soul on social media promotes, but like oh, whatever. Yeah. Um love the underwear. Love the undies. <laughs> um for those of you who don't know, yeah, I'm like a like sugar baby or something on on occasion, you know, part-time. Other than that, you know, entrepreneur, model, I'm really into our <laughs> science. Um, <laughs> but I got on seeking because I was just bored, and this guy was like, Can I fly you to Vegas? And I was like, I mean, like, yeah, but like, ew, like, at least jet sweet. He goes, no, you're fine. I'll just send my plane. And I'm like, oh. oh. <laughs> and at the time, I had never been on a private jet. I don't even think I'd ever flown jet sweet. And so I was like, really? yeah, send your fucking jet. And he goes, tomorrow? And I go, yeah, but can I bring a friend? And he was like, yeah. She so sends I- a picture of this jet. The logo of the company is just on, He's the-, on the jet. Shut and up. I'm, and I'm talking like I now I've been on a couple jets, but, like, you can never smoke on it because the person doesn't own it. But he – Fully just owned it. So we were like smoking backwards on the jet. Like he had like servers. Like it was like. You're and so lying. me and my friends show up to Million Air, the airport in Burbank that yeah. flies by the jet. <laughs> Million and we, Air. And he's like, yeah, I'm not on it. Like, he, sent his, he was in Vegas, sent his plane, wasn't on it. So it was just me and I brought my friend. And we get on and we're just like eating the Chick-fil-A and like the snacks. Like so many like, like cash, no. cashews, like taking shots. And we're like, 
what happens when we land? Like, what if he just doesn't answer? Like, I'm so confused. Like, how are we literally on a jet to Vegas? Like, I'm yeah. so confused. We get there. His pilot calls us a suburban. We go to the hotel. And he's like, yeah, just, I'll be down in a sec. Just go to the restaurant and, like, order whatever. And we're like, thank God I'm starving. So, you know, yeah. I order everything, something, something. It's carb, a 45-minute flight. Something, something you just had Chick-fil-A. Oh, <laughs> right. It's been 30 <laughs> seconds, Lila. Like, literally, stop eating. Yeah, I know. That's and then he stops responding for, like, over an hour. And I'm like, ew, I knew this was too good to be true whatever he, but right. who's gonna pay the bill down here right? <laughs> i didn't know his room number i didn't know his last name like i just got on the flight packed to bag packed my gold louis and just like called it a day <laughs> and then he's like okay i'm coming down he came and got us and literally i cannot make this up like right when we walked in it was like the penthouse level of this of the um i don't even know i think it was like the aria or something and it was Shut literally up. so fucking insane so nice just him and, like, he kept ordering bottles and room service and all this. He's so cute, like, so short. And, like, did it. We spent the night in a separate room. Neither of us kissed him. Neither of us hooked up with him. Neither of us hugged him. And he, I, I was like, can we get the allowance? And he handed us 10 racks and was like, split it. And I was like. <laughs> split it. Yeah. But that's, like, too, a too good to be true story. Like, that rarely happens. Like, a lot of them are, honestly. No, talk like, about when he took you to Miami, though. Daddy's from hell. And then, like, six days later, he's like, come to. He, le- he like, lives in San Clemente. In this like insane house I go to the house his son who's 18 is having a party his girlfriend knows me from social media I'm like oh my god the girlfriend probably knows that I used to have a fucking dick and now I don't paid for my fucking pussy because I posted everywhere on the internet and so I'm like oh this daddy doesn't know that my pussy is like 30k and like I used to not have one like Oh no! Like, like oh. and so we spend the night. Honestly, I like. I think I like took shrooms that night. Like, I, there was like six of us, and we're just like all like in this insane mansion. Like, we all met like I'm, high like, school oh. party going on at the same high time. school yeah. party. Like, six literal sugar babies in their dad's like room. And girlfriends was it, like an open relationship or. Yeah, it had to. It was really tonic. Like it was kind of just like friends, like really like oh, okay, having a lot of fun, it. but also just like being hot, like flopping around naked. Like it was just like honestly like Playboy. Like it was just like no kind of hot. There's like eighteen. And so they, and then like <laughs> that night he was like, "Should we take the jet somewhere in the morning?" And I'm like, "I mean, yeah, Aspen's been calling my name. Like I'm bored." And he's like, "What about Miami?" I'm like, "Oh yeah, I was there last week. Let's go." Like, <laughs> and so up. we went to Miami. He's like, gets the biggest penthouse at the um, Fountain Blue. It was a six mm. bedroom, two story penthouse. It Versus our little like ghetto <laughs> moment. <laughs> Versus ours is insane. I'm not even kidding. Us three and like four others slept in a one bedroom at the Fountain Dude, Blue. And we all we like had split the neighbors, it. Like being so sus. And we didn't over. even we didn't even open the gummy bears. Like. We didn't even <laughs> <laughs> Because we were all like, ain't, ain't no one paying that $7. Yeah, no way. <laughs> and he, it was like $27,000 a night. She fucked the roommate too. Or the, our neighbor. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, my God. Oh my God you did. Because I have it on video. We walked no. in. Our- wait, 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 wait. You fucked their neighbor? No, the they room. like left. Wait, will you tell the story? Because I don't know it. Yeah, so we walked in and we were like, we had two rooms. with we. Had, but like, what was the backstory? Was he like, was he bugging me? Or was I like, what was the? No, he was did bugging. Did he come out with because us Because remember, he like hopped over. He hopped over. Remember the rails at the right. balcony? We're like, so what's was, going on? There was, wait, where is this it, at? At the Fountain Blue. Oh, okay. In some of the rooms, it's like balcony and balcony, but it's one balcony and it just has a wall divider. Like I'm living so in Glendale. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you could like, like kind of like whoop. Yeah, yeah, and he literally climbed over the wall. Yeah. And I was like, okay, I get it. Like, my pussy's bummed. But, like, at the time, I didn't have a fucking pussy. And so I'm like... No. You're like, but he found out real quick. <laughs> I don't remember what happened. What you happened? know, you, I don't. What happened was we we were all getting really, really drunk, and so we drunk. were in a hotel room, and they like Pull they climbed up. over the they climbed over the top of the. And at the time, the like thing. I just got my K tips, I was like still balding from getting jumped in Mexico for being oh. trans. Like I literally looked like shit. Like we all went on a yacht, and this girl was like kissing my ass all day because she saw I had like a blue check and like certain people followed me and then she adds us all on snapchat posts on her close friends and goes and it's this guy who's flirting with me on the yacht and it was like he doesn't know he's fucking with the trans and i'm like girl how are you gonna kiss my ass all fucking day and then post I that and then i made remember when yeah. i made that tiktok about yeah. her, that Fuck her. and then i i'm not kidding i sent it to her school and she got fired from her job and everything <laughs> good <laughs> shit Fuck that dumb bitch. Good that's shit. so yeah. iconic Fuck you amy <laughs> Dana, I'm calling her out. Oh, yeah. Let's hear it. We didn't get an invite to your birthday party. Everyone was invited. We didn't didn't get get one. invite. Wow, fuck No one told us about your birthday party. No one even told us it was a moment until we saw it on Snap. Maybe called went, the fuck out went, now she's sweating mrs went. three podcast episodes and <laughs> doesn't invite them maybe my mailman quit <laughs> <laughs> i 
I don't know. I honestly, the whole birthday thing, I was so stressed out because it was seven days long. Like, first day I <laughs> fell asleep during Wiz Khalifa while my friends I saw that. What's was funny dying. is literally the two days before your birthday was the first time that you, like, bailed on our podcast. Oh, my God. Wait, but you know what's weird, though, is I feel like <laughs> oh, I remember damn. looking at the, like, the list that you had. I, I feel like I remember it. seeing your guys' names. I'm not kidding. Like, when I think I'm Steph, not trying to defend Steph, her, but I actually Steph, feel like I remember Steph, seeing your guys' names. Steph, I remember Steph texted me, and she was like, can I come? And I was like, well, duh. And then I was like, wait, add Dan and Alex. So I feel like I just added you guys, but then, like, you didn't, like Kay- say anything. Kaylee, like, Kaylee oh. was like, I just thought it was, like, spreading, like, wildfire. And the place I held it, they were like, the, you know, there's a capacity, right? And I was like, oh. Because <laughs> I had to go to the Kaylee security like, worry. at the front, like, to help other people get in. And, like, I was like, okay, I'm going in now because, like, but the service there is. be happy you ass. weren't because I think some, either there was black mold there or somebody. Steph went to the hospital after my party. My apartment manager and three people who live at my apartment all had the flu. I had the flu. I don't even get sick because my fucking ass is invincible. <laughs> Saucy got the flu. Kaylee got COVID. Like, Kaylee got the flu, but like, oh literally, <laughs> like everyone got so fucking sick. Like I threw up like for like a week after my party because everyone got so fucking sick. Like, well, I also think it's so much why. like the bedroom. But it was like in like a, yeah, was. I was in like a basement. Like they, no, yeah, the service there was awful. So then they I held it going for in. free. Like no wonder I got fucking black mold. It was fun though, but I remember like um yeah, no service. Like you like walk, you get to this place and you like walk downstairs and then no service. No definitely. service. Like, so might as well had a dead phone. So I would like go up and be like okay like i'm going down now but like can you make sure like i would like look at the list on the security's phone and i actually feel like i remember seeing your guys's names on there and it was annoying yeah you guys know i love you so fucking much no i know we know that's why we're just no, giving we're you a hard time like, like, you just really really hard because time. you know that we don't even go out like Ever. but we literally go out if it's like birthday parties or like occasions or someone's like well, go but, out but go you out, also go know out. me and like like I have birthdays for my pussy. Like my my <laughs> my, bir- my birthday's May second, but I got my coochie done in August. And every August, I'm like, my pussy's turning one. And I'm like, yeah, like, yeah, like yeah. pussy party. So I got my pussy done. Um, you know, <laughs> my like mom and like birth giver like something like fucked up when I was born, and so I had to pay for it myself. Really weird. <laughs> yeah, um, I love that. I love that. So I got it done, but that anxiety is like still there though, almost because it's like okay, so I got it done. And the recovery was, like, insane. Like, getting something chopped, cut, sliced, diced, oh, pulled. Like, yeah. that's, like, the thought. Like, the fact that that can even happen, it still is, like, wait, yeah. I yeah. did that? Like, y'all just put fucking anesthesia and called it a day? Like, what? Yeah. Um, But even the process after, like, the pain and then, like, you have to dilate so it doesn't. Because since it's, like, a man-made hole, like, a piercing or, like, a gauge yeah. or anything mm-hmm. else going through your body, it will try and close itself, if that makes sense. Yeah. And so... Every day, three times a day for like 15 minutes for the first three months. Like imagine like stopping what you're doing at all times to like literally put lube all over this like hard plastic thing and shove it in yourself even if it hurts. Like yeah. just so your pussy doesn't close. Like yeah. what? <laughs> Wait, what? So I had to do that for a while. And then like now obviously like since I lost like my pussy virginity and all of that, like and like since all that like honestly after i got my vagina done is when i actually started daddying because i was like oh now i really am i like the second she got her vagina done me and alex went over there she said look legs wide open yeah yeah, and i'm talking like not even pretty pussy like i'm talking like fresh out of surgery like like, stitches like like, everything like uh -uh. sutured like swollen like looked like flappy bird yeah i was like like, okay And they were like, yes. no, she yeah. She was so excited. Like, she like, she was, like, she, like had a puppy. Yeah. She's like, fuck this dog, but look. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It looked like a bobblehead. It was one of the, pu- it was like a pug. So <laughs> cross-eyed, couldn't see where it was looking. It was like running into the wall. I remember you're like sending us all photos and we're like, oh, but go off. Yeah, it was like yes. fresh after surgery. We're like, damn girl. Like, like, how's this one going to, how's this one going to <laughs> Now it looks, looks amazing. amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, ask. <laughs> You could ask a few people. <laughs> um, what was your like most? Do you think that was your most intense? Like that painful? was definitely my most intense. Anything like if my option were to literally actually like g- like drown or like literally go through that surgery again, I would choose like a painful death because like literally the thought of going through that again, like I don't think I mentally these days like could like do it again because mm-hmm. it was just like that. I'd be laying down, I'd be in a car, I'd be anywhere, and like. Think about it, like the nerves being rearranged, like you'd feel things in the weirdest places, but oh couldn't God. like fix the pain because you don't know where it's coming from. Like even with my forehead, like for a while, like because it was numb for like a, my whole head was numb for like a year. Like I, I couldn't feel it if I scratched it. Like it's like I would feel an itch, but it would like since the nerves got like moved around, like the itch I felt would be right here, Shut but I would have up. to like scratch it right here to like really solve the itch. So imagine that like wow. in your pussy. What kind of decisions wow. did you have to make into or like? 
weighing out like which doctor to pick? Like what, what kind of things did you take into consideration? Like so, were you just like, oh, this one's really cheap, swipe, or were you like? <laughs> uh, a main factor was like, okay, I'm on my parents' insurance until I'm what is the age like 26 or something? 25. I think yeah, 25 or 26. Okay, my dad's like the CEO of his company, so obviously like our insurance, thank you God, is so good. And so I'm like, okay, which because not all of them do. Like I've had friends who paid thirty four thousand dollars just like here. And I yeah. was very, 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 very lucky. Thank you, Blue Cross Blue Shield. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, obviously, I was like, yeah, I made $30,000 coochie. But it's like, that's what it was. But then my insurance covered it. I paid like $400. Like, I Isn't that insane? I, Holy fuck. I was very lucky because even at the time, like, my OnlyFans had just started. I was like, and my friend went to the same doctor as me. And she was like, yeah. And she has really loaded parents. And she was like, yeah, like, my mom just, like, bought this Airbnb house for us for the month. It was, like, 12K. I remember and the I'm Airbnb. And like, I'm like, I have, like, $800 in my account. How am I going to buy a house for a month to recover when I don't even know how I'm paying for the surgery? Yeah. And then, like, my dad had points with his company for a hotel. So I, like, had this hotel for the oh, month. Oh, so like, your dad was, like, hella supportive. Yeah, like, thing. and it's crazy because my whole life, like... I could really get into that and, like, honestly probably start crying. Like, my whole life, I was so fucking awful to them. Like, in our, like we would argue over, like, the color white. Like, I'd be like, Dad, you're fucking dumb. I'm going to fucking kill myself. Like, I would just, like, I was so awful. But now that I'm me, I'm like, oh, I mean, I guess I was just insecure and I wasn't myself. And yeah. so now that I am myself, like, our relationship is, like, literally, it's so, like, he calls me almost every day. Like, if I don't Aww. respond, he's like I'm, like, I'm sad. Are you okay? Like, I'm like, yeah, I'm good. And, like, I call them for, like, I'm like, oh, this boy cared that I was trans. Like, he said that, like, some guy told him I was used to be a boy. Like, and it makes them so sad hearing anything like that. So I honestly try to, like, not even tell them the bad shit. Like, and just yeah. make them, like, know, like, know everything good. But, yeah, like, my mom, like, dropped everything and, like, came and helped me recover from my pussy for, like, three Shut weeks. Up. Like, it's crazy. Oh, my God. Yeah. I, I actually know. love that. <laughs> yeah, know. that's it makes so me really sweet. happy. And your dad did everything to try to, like, help you pay for it. And no, make, I that's know. So cool. And, like, even he'll be, like, so and so at work was saying their like daughter's trans and like watched you or something like that. And he just like talks about me to like his like look like I'm like yeah, that's he, really cute. Dad. And that's like, cool that he knows how to go through that and he can help those people too. Exactly. Like, Cause even like from starting that, like when I came out as trans, obviously or so I came when I was like a boy, I was like, Oh, I'm bisexual, and then I was like, Oh, I'm gay, and then I was like, Oh wait, I'm a girl. Hey. Yeah, <laughs> um so obviously it was like a lot of different emotions for me and them, but like for them, it, which I understand, like, I, I, if you guys are, like, going through this and you, like, don't understand why your parents feel a certain way, like, when you are trans, it is honestly kind of like losing a child because your child is, like, growing into who they haven't been their whole life. And so it's, like, oh, kind of goodbye to one chapter onto the next. And so, like, my dad, it was just like, oh, I feel like I don't even know who you are. like, And I'm just like, oh, can it? You know who I am? I just, like, need to, it's like, fuck. Yeah. <laughs> and so I think that was a learning lesson for sure, and especially with, like, my sibling. And, like, I just felt so judged by them my whole life. So when I moved to L.A. and came out as trans just right away on Instagram, like, they were they, they felt, like, betrayed for so long because they were like, you just, like, came out online. And ever, all of our yeah. friends who follow you are like, oh, like, oh, my God, congrats. Like, your sister just came out. This isn't. And they were like, she did. Like they didn't, they, they didn't even know I was she. Like they, yeah. like, I was just doing me because I was like, oh, for the first time in my life, I lived by myself. I was living in LA. I was working. I was paying my own rent for the first time in my life. Yeah. And so it was like just like a lot of learning experiences for me. That's so cool though. Yeah. yeah. But it was crazy because even like when I first came out, like my both my siblings are married, have kids, everything. Like they're Boy, girl. My brother's two years older than me, married like married to a girl. They have two kids now, and then my sister's four years older than so me. Two brother and sister. Yeah. Oh, hell and yeah. And me and my sister, our whole life, we're four years apart. But like, and I was like a fat little boy running around Iowa, and like she was like really hot, just like four, three, four sports a year. Had a four point oh GPA, worked a job. I'm like, bitch, how are you doing? And had a boyfriend. I'm like, girl. Yeah, you're like, I can't even fuck? go out once a week and still st like I I was. 2.1 GPA if that like I was just awful did no sports like my mom would be like either no phone for a month you're grounded or like join the swim team and I'm like <laughs> do what <laughs> do what or like be the wrestling team manager and I'm like what <laughs> like it was just so you're like great. doing it just to watch boys in singlets yeah. Duh. <laughs> and so we did that and me and my sister worked at the same country club and even though we were like four years apart they'd be like are you guys like twins like we look, our our her baby photo looks like if Lila was a born Lila. No like way. It, we look the same. Like we're like we are like the same person. But it was just like my whole transition. They always just thought I was being dramatic or this because like when I moved to LA, I posted a video and I was like fucking my high school English teacher and like my grandpa <laughs> was the super or my 
my like dad was like the like something something in my school my grandpa was the athletic director like our whole like oh, life shit. so yeah. they're like, like our, you fucked your english our, teacher our, our, <laughs> yeah our family was so big in my school so like the the people showed up at my house even when i was living in la and my mom's like is this true i was like no it was, just, it was a lie for entertainment like i don't know then you're getting sued <laughs> yeah right <laughs> like, okay well then um and so when that happened um like my sister's husband and my brother's wife would like text me and be like we're rooting for you. We love you. We're like so supportive. Like, can't wait for like our child to like have like a uh, like this like this this this. And my siblings like wouldn't talk to me. I was like, but I'm so confused. Like, why? Like, why are you guys so about her? Like, wouldn't if that was yeah. me, I'd be so happy that my siblings just like out thriving, yeah. like being themselves. Yeah. But now we're on like the best terms ever. So it just, it was just like a long, it was, like, long, a whole... long fucking road. To, I think yeah. like seeing that it wasn't just like a joke for social media. Or, like, because I think a lot of people like people think that like things you do for are like for attention, but it's like no, babe. I just literally worked at McDonald's for a year to afford this fucking pussy that was four hundred dollars. Like, yeah, come on. yeah. Don't play with me, because <laughs> no, I'm playing with my dilator, bitch. I'll hit you. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's been crazy. Damn. The whole vagina thing, honestly, is so crazy because I've literally like I say it to like some of my close friends. I've I've never really talked about it online, but it's like literally had sex like being both genders. Yeah. Like, it's like, oh, I so know, what, I know it all. what is the difference? Yeah, what is like, the difference? Like, I know it all, and it's crazy even, like, hooking up with people. Like, even while hooking up with them, I'll, like, think and be like, oh, I should do that. Like, because I've literally you know. felt done, oh, yeah, like, yeah, 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 everything. Yeah. Um, So, obviously, like, before I have sex with, like, I know the, per- like, you have to dilate it. Because, like, shit's like a rubber band. It just, like, snaps back into place or something. But, like, other than that, you really, like, can't tell. Like, I can, like... <laughs> get wet like all, everything's literally the same I just don't have a uterus so I don't have my monthly cycle but there's been a few times where my coochie's bled and I'm like wait 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 that's not You're supposed lying. to happen I'm no like so, I'm like someone get me a super plus shit I mean I wish I didn't have a period the hook. right <laughs> uh, no it's definitely a blessing but they, they you know what I just found out last week I told my mom I'm going to India she's so scared <laughs> <laughs> um but they they want to start doing like um like they a want, womb transplant or and uterus. you can like die but honestly I would do it like just to like try it out and like be like a like no i think just like wait till it's like just wait. i'm just always down like you know i honestly wait you can't I, be the guinea pig i don't think i'm gonna like, like get like in trouble for this because like i didn't do it but i was gonna do this whole like i like we would all go to dinner and i like i was like you guys like i really have this plan like our friend's like the most talented photographer ever i was like this really good plan like sober lila like i'm gonna literally t- like find this like underground doctor say that i got a uterus transplant say that I'm pregnant and, like, don't go to the club for, like, eight months and then, like, have, like, my pregnancy photos, like, everything. So you got me at don't go to the club for eight months, but... Right. <laughs> I can't even go one fucking day without like going to the club. Sounds like a great plan, though. <laughs> Sounds like a great plan. I can't. You know, that there was a stage where, like, they'd be like, come over and watch a movie. And it would be, like, 11 p.m. We'd be watching a movie. I'm, like, twitching, laying on the couch because I just wanted yeah, to Yeah, like, itching to go out, like, click-clacking on her phone and, like, like stop and it'd be like 11 30 no makeup no blowout and i'd be like all right bye guys i'm gonna go to bed and then lying <laughs> lying lying like literally leaving our house in sweats like pigtails or ponytails or whatever the fuck and like pigtails so that like, my hair would be crimped for the club right she's like oh, like, like leaving with her dog yeah exactly and all of a sudden she's like on her story like with like in like a glam chair she's like you guys josie's doing my body glam right now but Josie made it happen. <laughs> a bad bitch is going out. <laughs> and it's like full, like, like, ex- like a hot outfit, expensive. I like, remember when we went to dinner, like, last month for Abby's birthday and everyone was in sweats and I'm in heels, a poster girl outfit, 40 inch braid, Josie glam. I'm like, Lila, like, I didn't even know where I was going. I just knew I wanted to look good. No, yeah. And we were like, okay, we're all going to show up in sweats. <laughs> we're going to show up in sweats purposely so we don't go out told her that she does not care fuck no and, then, and it's like, gotten bad because you know you guys know me like i need to be with people at all times i need to be talking to people at all times but since like 2022 like i'll go from club to club to bootsy to poppy to hide to an after party to another after party to mcdonald's to another after party fuck a rapper to another after party get home at 7 a.m and like all of it by myself like I'll go do it. Like, I love, like, Suburbans by myself walking in alone because I think it's, like, the confidence thing. Like, you're like, yeah, I'm with Jack. And then it's like, yeah. who's Jack? Uh-huh. <laughs> no, I, I miss, having, I miss having my blue check. It made life so much easier. Mm. Oh, Especially with DMing weird. people. Like, now that, like, when I DM rappers, it's like, ugh. <laughs> Are they even going to see it? <laughs> you're like, hello. You find your ways to make sure they but see it. I don't it. know how. Yeah, it's like weird. It's like when notifications are silenced and it's like, notify anyway. Like, <laughs> you like have your that, way. No, literally. She's no. like, you're never going to believe. Like, 
Yeah, my new thing that I've been doing, I actually got it from Stassi Baby when she was on the Call Her Daddy podcast. With, um, oh, the tag, the tagging. My new thing, I'll literally be like in bed or like literally drinking Starbucks and I'll like hide tag, like literally Sway Lee and Kevin Gates. Like I'll hide tag every single fucking rapper in the world because it's like, then they get notified that they're like mentioned in a story for me and like if we've DM'd before or something oh, like that, yeah. then it's like, oh, hey, like you look good. Like, I don't know. It's like so smart. It's like honestly. <laughs> that, I'm no, going to start doing that with Sean Mendes, honestly. I mean, you know, you're about to. Sean Mendes. <laughs> I'm not kidding. <laughs> I can't wait. No, something I was going to ask you guys because I literally just held my PN for literally six hours and like I've literally been both like genders, like whatever. When I was younger, and we would be in like a road trip, me and my brother, and whenever we'd be like, oh, we have to pee, whatever, whatever, my dad or my grandpa would be like, oh, pee in this, or like, be in this bottle, or like, whatever. And my sister would be like, what? Like, what am I supposed to do? But I didn't understand that until I literally got my coochie done. And now I'm like, I swear to God, I can have two shots. And if I do not see a bathroom within the next 16 seconds, like, no, seriously. Sorry, it's going on the floor. But like, no. I used to um live in Hawaii, so I'm like, used to like peeing, peeing outside because the there's like literally no Same, bathrooms anywhere. But like as a boy, like I would pee like on tree, like Iowa in the cornfield. Yeah. Like, you know <laughs> yeah. what I mean? And like I'll literally pee anywhere. Like I pee in McDonald's drive through one time on our way back from like a bar in from Newport. I told Alex to pull over and I literally peed on the side of the freeway. No, it wasn't <laughs> is that a how bar it is? in Newport. Really we were literally in a we were at a party in Hollywood Hills and we were literally in the in the hills. We were in in the hills, like I can be anywhere. And I pulled off, and it was like a side. It was like a tiny little side thing. And it was like an exit for something, and like the main road. There was just cars going. Well, I know there was a freeway one too. Do you, guys, videos. Do you, guys, do you guys both drive? <laughs> yeah, we do. Yeah, like and both have licenses yeah. and cars. Yeah. Oh wow. They're both out there. We yeah. had to drive. I'm, behind, I'm behind schedule. <laughs> yeah, this bitch has no license, but like still. We're about it. We're both about to be 22. Oh, you guys are babies. Yeah, it makes mom. me feel old. I'm 24. <gasps> And, and yeah, I miss 23. I want to be 24. 23 of me. <laughs> but I think I'm going to start telling people I'm like 21 or 22. 24 sounds weird. And like, <laughs> what? I don't like that. <laughs> like, just adding to like, like just adding lying for fun. Like, what? Just adding lying my, for fun. No, like, my new thing that I've been doing. Like, is, is lying for fun? The young bitch is lying, lying for fun. Like, is, She's is, like, I'm going to lie to me. Is like taking one of my friend's life stories or like still <laughs> telling the truth, but fully compulsively lying like i'm 24 i got my vagina done when i was 21 i'm born and raised in iowa my dad's from pennsylvania and i'll someone will, a guy will be like are you trans and i'm like first of all no i don't drive because like the transmission of a car and then i'm like <laughs> and then i'm like and then i'm like no i'm egyptian <laughs> like what does that even mean and she's I, like my dad's from cairo and then i'm like literally on on my hinge like i'm like yeah i got my pussy done it went well like when i, I was 18 just, and it's like I saw babe that. Just tell them you got it done when you were 20. Like, you didn't get it done when you were 18. Like, what's the point? Like, what does 18 versus 20 do? Just sounds, you? It no, sounds... her, like, calling herself out right now. We're all just sitting here. She's like, what are you doing? It <laughs> sounds better. How? Like, oh, I got my pussy done two years ago versus, like, oh, yeah, right, when I was 18. Like, <laughs> what? It's not a tattoo. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> it might as well damn me. Like, might be. You're like, I don't know. I'd have you. <laughs> Just like a tattoo. <laughs> Try it up. Yeah. Wait, but is that really a thing? Like, girls cannot hold their pee? No. I, I just, it's when like the go, cavity, go. like the, like, the something cavity. No, like, and if you fucking hold it, you get a UTI like that. Oh, yeah. uh, I've never had a that's UTI why I and I can hold my piss. a UTI and that's why I went to the fucking hospital for four nights because I had a UTI and a kidney infection. Oh, uh, no, I'm the type, like, so <laughs> I drink I got a, a UTI, didn't take care of it, and then she went to the club She said too many Red Bull vodkas. <laughs> don't drink any water. You guys know me. Like, I don't drink water. I hold in my Girl. pee. I go to the club. Like, no, she does I not drink died. water. You open I'm, her fridge, it's stocked with, like, Sunny D and, like, <laughs> Capri Sun. And, like, That's Capri crack Sun. Shit. And, like, Gatorade. No Gatorade. Crack no crack water. And, like, the Red Mountain Dew. Like, I just, like, literally, I'm, like, And, like, half, half empty, stone. like. Right. I don't know how I, like, knock on, like, cotton. Knock on cotton. <laughs> Knock on something. No, but I can hold my piss for hours. Like, I drink a lot of water before bed because, like, I don't know. I want, like, they really... drink so much. Like, all my friends drink, like, over a gallon of water a day. And I'm like, I've been drinking I'm a water bottle in day. It helps me, like, not be hungover. Like, so, yeah. like, if you, like, get into I don't know what I've been doing. Water, <laughs> yeah, like, I, I, swear, like I don't know how I woke up at 9 a.m. today. Like, yeah, I'll go get breakfast. Mm-hmm. Since you're cracked, ass uh, Sunny D's. <laughs> 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 but then I'll wake up at, like, 4.30. You're ready to go. You're like, uh, uh, uh huh, cracked out. Do you think that's why? Because I eat and drink like like I love sour candy. I love all that like candy, sugar, sweets. 
right? Like, put the fucking chips down. That was my go-to snack in seventh grade. Smart, smart, smart food. I'd, br- I'd bring it with my backpack. Oh, my God. Um, but, like, wait, wait, wait. Like, 4.30 a.m., I'll wake up in the middle of the night, and I'm like, oh, I have to pee so bad. Like, it hurts. But I'm like... You pee while you, like, in the middle of the night? No, like I'll literally be like, I have to pee so bad, but I'm like, I'm not getting up right now. I'm under my weighted blanket. I'm so comfortable. Like, <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm like, I'm back to my, bed. My One parents. hour later, wake up. I'm like, oh God. But I'm like, like no, nope, my yeah. parents haven't got me a, like, gotten me anything for anything in years. And Amari's family got me a weighted blanket for Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I've used family, it every like, hour. Because <laughs> I'm like, I'm very anemic and I love, like, I love being cold. I love, like, like I'm anemic too. So fucking anemic. Oh. Like, my shit will turn purple and numb. And, like, literally something about, and, like, when you're hungover too, like, being shaky, like, something about just being, like, pushed to the bed. Like, it's like, like yeah. I'm not. And, but then Daisy, my dog goes under the weighted blanket and I have to check on her. I'm like, Jeez. are you dead? <laughs> <laughs> And she like, and you know that blanket weighs more than no, her. No, I think the funniest thing the I've ever seen. Pounds, she's four. <laughs> the funniest thing I've ever seen is the picture of what your dog was supposed to look like. Based <laughs> between- this bitch, so went- I, I paid two thousand fucking dollars for my scammer ass dog. Honestly, like mother, like daughter, and like literally, I'm not kidding. She was a golden. Wait, no, 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 <laughs> no she's not. She was supposed to be a golden doodle, which is like the th- <laughs> the like the height of like this clear table or something. Or like it's like a twenty pound ish dog, like no a way. big dog, a medium no size dog, curly hair. Um, they don't shed like. Uh, and like I like pick her up from like a CVS, and this, <laughs> she's literally twenty per- or like thirty percent Chihuahua, twenty percent Cocker Spaniel, twenty percent Terrier. No, like she looks like an intent dog. Well, when first she looked like an intent dog. Like, so. How did that go when you pulled up and you were like, "I go so cute, I want it." <laughs> I didn't, I didn't ask I'm like, did, I go, she Do doesn't even have the paperwork or what? She doesn't even know what a golden doodle looks like. They were like shitting themselves for like, "Here we go, here we go," and you're like, "Okay, thank God." <laughs> right? Like, what? Yeah. They're like, "We just scared." I didn't this. ask any questions. It's and it's probably like, like a twenty five dollar from the twenty five dollar dog from the fount. <laughs> I'm like, where did y'all get this right. dog? And me and Mario got matching dogs too, and they're honestly just so fucking annoying. Like, I can't. <laughs> well, they really. Oh my god, your guys' dogs. Whenever you like bring them around, it's and, like running around like my living room, and I'm like. Throw it off the balcony. And it's not actually throw it off the Mario's balcony, but like oh throw God. it off the balcony. Mario's dog like kind of knows how to like be a dog and like walk. My dog like has like been going outside lately. Like I'll take her to the pool, but like she lives in a pet house. Like she pees on her turf, pees on her piddle pads. Like she doesn't really need to go outside. Like Hollywood Boulevard, like people be robbing people for their dogs. Like Fact. I don't, I don't want my dog to get like stolen. No, that's, like I get guns pulled on me and that. <laughs> God damn. Cheers to love. <laughs> So I like looked up on the internet and I was just like Lila give me right I was just like looking up I was like Lila give me and like right after one of the searches was like Lila give me Jeffrey Star right okay. and I like kind of clicked on it and I was like it's either that or Lila give me boy and it's like <laughs> when I'm when I talk to a boy and they look me up on Google it's like oh fuck they're like I googled you I'm like oh. You're like, sorry Why? you're like that's not Lila that I was know, a lot of times I'm just like that was my brother he passed away <laughs> <laughs> that's so good yeah. honestly yeah. it works. <laughs> <laughs> what were you saying? I'm sorry. No, um, but I just saw that there was some some drama that happened. So you wanna you wanna explain what happened? It's so in that crazy because like Jeffrey's the one person I still to this second haven't like m- like met and squashed our beef with, and it's like really, really, and it's like him, like him, Nikita, Gigi, like were like really like the like few people I watched. Like I didn't really like watch people. Like I never watched Shane Dawson. I never watched Jenna Marbles. Like I well the first person I watched was like Low Anthony. Like that was like Lohan my like that was my shit. Now he's like hey, hey. I lost my like, virginity to a Jeffree Star fucking YouTube video. That's what? Not, what? Yeah, my this, virginity. At this point, it's I think Sam, <laughs> at this point he took my virginity. Like, <laughs> and at the time I was working at McDonald's. I was living in LA and I him and Nate his boyfriend at the time were so hot and he, they were always talking about like three ways and this is this, this so I was like okay hot like I might as well like DM his boyfriend so I DM'd his boyfriend he replied we snapchatted for like over a year like started when I was living in Iowa like he he added me as a friend I had all the screenshots saved like because I remember I remember when it first happened I was like I think so much is going to continue like one of these days it's going to be a story time so every time he added me and unadded me as a friend, every time he removed me as a friend, every time he Snapchatted me, you were ready for I this screenshotted. Video. <laughs> and so I was so ready with all the receipts. And then one day I got off my, I'm not kidding. I, I think I vlogged it. I got off my shift at McDonald's and I literally, my first ever DM from anyone other than like Tana probably with a blue check and it was Jeffree Star and he DM'd me and I was like, and at the time I had like 8K. Like I was like, wait. Did your heart drop? Dropped my literal pussy that I didn't have. <laughs> and I was like, wait, what? 
and he was like, can't find a man of your own. So you thought you'd try and hit up mine. And Shut I'm like, up. and I literally go, ha, oh, no, babe, it's not like that. I just, fuck, I don't even know. I said something so like, I was like, no, like I thought it was a vibe where I said something like that. And he was just like, he sent like the X emoji. Like he was just like so crazy and rude, like blocked me, like called me out on like his like Snapchat. Like he was like, so he's so crazy. Like he's so insane. Shut up. And like me and his boyfriend Snapchatted so many times. And so it's like, wait, babe, that's not my problem. I thought y'all were in like some yeah. open like relationship shit. Like not my problem. Your man was Snapchatting me while you were like organizing your Birkins like it's really yeah. not my problem and it was like it was like a dilemma because at the time Tana like we were friends or like our friends dubbed but like we were like we had like just became friends and she was doing like that was during the stage of like Shane Dawson and like Jeffrey and Tana collabed and then like Jane like everyone was collabing with Jeffrey and so it was like wait I don't want to fuck up my friendship with like Amari and Tana like just because I'm like being reckless and stupid but I just like I've always just like done shit to like if you care, you care. If you don't, you don't. Yeah. <laughs> the truth is the truth. On God. Let's get one thing fucking clear. That's what a lot of people in LA need to learn too. Yeah. like But they're fake ass shit. They're like, well, and it's, I don't like them, but I'm not going to je- jeopardize my relationship right, with them. Right, like because. fuck the relationship. Literally. It's because like even with my YouTube channel, like, oh, like someone's so being like, why aren't you doing a podcast? This, this, this. It's like I – so many things have like happened on the day-to-day basis that it's it's like I want to say, but then it's like if I open my mouth – Oh, banned from off sunset, banned from hide, banned yeah. from so and so's house. Oh, blocked by so and so. It's like, fuck, so much is like on the line now. So it sucks that I used to not give a fuck, and now I'm like, you're like a little uh, more ish, but I still don't give a fuck. You're like, I can't be banned from Poppy. Right? <laughs> she just was. No, like, I was. I was, was, like, like, I was banned from all H Wood properties, which I'm not kidding. Oh, means fuck. Delilah, yeah. Highlight Room, Nighting, or um, Poppy. Like, every single place I go yep. four times a day, like Harriet's, nice guy. What? And it's like my best friend's boyfriend spends like 200K every single time they come into LA and like go to the club there yeah. at Hwood Properties. And so it's like, I was banned because it was YG's birthday. And, like and, I went, and this bitch was being a bitch. I was being, I was being a <laughs> stupid bitch. And like, they weren't, let, they, they weren't letting me in for like four minutes. And I was like, I have hypothermia. Like, I, was like, <laughs> I was like, y'all are never clocking into your jobs again. Like Shut y'all up. are done. You're like, just off I was that. like, do you know who? And I all they wanted her to do was just wait a couple minutes. Just like <laughs> oh wait a couple God. minutes. Cause she showed up with extra people. Like she was fine to go in, but she had no, extra No, they go friends. come. I show up with like two girls, a boy. Like it's like Lila, a guy. Like you can show up with a guy at a YG's party. Like no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, okay, like, we'll figure it out for you. Just hold on. And she's like, I'm not holding on. Like, there's, no, oh, there's nothing to hold on Wait, to. So other than still banned? Career. Like, oh, my God. Uh, are you still banned? Fuck no. I, I made a match. She was there last night. I made a match. Yeah, I have a lot of, I, yeah. honestly, like, Fully dude, there last night. I do have, like, a lot of connects with the H-Wood, like, and, like, the owner of all H-Wood and everything. So they, like, gave me a chance so. to, like, apologize to the head of H-Wood and, like, head of H-Wood security. And I went and I, like, called my friend Kaylee on the way. I was like... What are like? Big... Oh, so but now you're close to head of H and head of H yeah, security, yeah, so they know you and they'll you'll always Scott get it. Scott <laughs> and John Terzian. <laughs> you guys now are my they'll babies. never forget you. I would now marry people you can guys. say I'm with Lila. <laughs> Thank you, Scott, for carrying me into my suburban every night. <laughs> um, yeah, I was like, I asked Kaylee, I was like, what are really big words that I could use to like make me sound so smart when I apologize? Because I like apologizing in person is one of like you called I, me too. Yeah, I was like, you guys, what do I like say? And, well, like and writing her a script. They're like, like say yeah. you're like say you're just. Dis- Disgusted, say you're so appalled and say you're and I was like oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I was I was like ew like just because I was so drunk and like thought I was unstoppable like that's that wasn't like Lila it was just like annoyed like cold like drunk stupid idiot Lila so I was like that's not me and they like know that but it was just like Thank you, God. Because if I was banned, I would be in Miami. Like, I would have to leave the state. You're like, I have to move. <laughs> well, I don't know. What the Lesson hell for everyone. Treat everyone with respect because you never know who you're fucking with and where you'll get banned from. <laughs> and you'll, you never know if you're going to be lucky enough to be Lila yeah. and have the chance to apologize. That does tie us into our last question, though. Life with Lila advice 101. That you guys like yeah, to Yeah, like, what's your one piece of life advice? That was that honestly a really fucking that good one. That was a good one, yeah. <laughs> I think, um, like, advice for people. Anyone watching this, just like with their, with their life, anyone? like people coming to LA, or like I just think, like with life, yeah, yeah, general. like if you're confused, like if you're like taking, like if you're okay. like struggling, I think that like one of the most important things in life because I feel like I know this from personal experience, like moving to LA just in general is kind of like the craziest thing ever because it really is its own little world. I think it's so like I feel so lucky that I've like moved here with like all my roommates are like friends that I grew up with, like in Vegas or in just like other ways, like that I've known for at least like 
four years. Yeah. Five years. Like, Tana and I have been best friends since, like, seventh grade. So, like, that goes way back. But having friends that you've known for a really long time and sticking with those people, because those people, like, know the, have like... Have seen you at all your lives. Like, they know yeah. the, like, the, like, naked you. Not the, like... Not, like, actually, like, naked. I mean, sometimes, I mean, shit, like, <laughs> this bitch be out here walking around, coochie out, tits out, like, just not Everything. There. They're but, cleaning. Like, people are, like, in their house. I'm like, sorry, Robert. No, yeah. Like, she's, like, FaceTiming me. I'm in the shower. I'm like, hey, what's up? I think like, Loki is kind of a red. Answer, like, in the shower. Having the... What? <laughs> The fact that you answer in the shower is well, my I'm phone's like, in there. I'm listening to music. Why <laughs> is your phone in your shower? Because I'd be texting. I'd be like, I and also your, what if there's like an emergency? Get foggy and wet. I, I well, there's a towel in my shower too. Oh, you're crazy, bitch. But what do you mean the well, towel's I mean, not like soaking wet? A, Sorry, like my shower's in... big. Okay. <laughs> Mine's bigger. <laughs> yeah, like if I'm putting like a black cherry popsicle in my pussy for OnlyFans, like yeah, I'll bring my phone in my in my like. Well, <laughs> my thing is like you never know when it's like an emergency. Like what if someone like needs you, you know? Okay. So it's like it, like it could be Amari's like advice I'm in the shower. of life: bring your phone in the shower. <laughs> that's not my advice. <laughs> not if you, not if you got that. a cracked screen, bitch, because that steam will fuck you up. <laughs> that's another advice. But no, I just think it's important to have like your closest friends with you at all times and not forget about who those people are yeah. and also like. Leaving Vegas. I grew up in Vegas. That's why I'm so fucking crazy. I think that it's important to, like, maintain those friendships. Because, like, every time I go back to Vegas, I see all of my best friends. Yeah. Like, And it's been... I've been out here for, like, four, yeah, five years sure. now. And, like, I will never forget those people. Those people, like, shaped me into the person I am today. They're the reason why I'm funny. They're the reason why I'm caring. Done. They're the reason why... I like I feel personal that relationships. I moved to LA and they're like, fuck the home friends. Like, yeah, and no. it's like, I'm like that though, but again, like you, like very like going to Parkway, like every single time I'm back in Iowa, it's always like such like a high school reunion and I always end up like crying because it's so much emotion. Like, oh, I was a boy with these people. Like they're the reason uh -huh. why I am what I am. But it's like, also there are like the fake people, I guess. But even living in there LA, are. like life is so fucking fast here. Like I'm not even kidding. Just the, like, I think it was literally yesterday. I was laying on my couch for like 30 minutes for the first time in months. Yeah. And I was like going through my texts and like a couple of my home friends sends friends texting me happy birthday and I still said that like I didn't reply and I was like wait I'm awful mm -hmm. and I feel like a lot like, of you get so caught up like it's so hard and a lot of like friendships in LA are very like transactional so it's like you have to kind of like if you when story like don't get connected me, yeah. to a person that like is just like a transactional friendship because at the end of the day you're gonna end up like getting really hurt you have to like realize that these people like like the people that care about you really do care about you and you will Literally. you will find those people those are the people you want to stick with you it's yeah. fine to have those oh, transactional yeah. friendships because it's like oh you do this for me, I do this for you. Like, that's fine. But don't get so, like, caught up in those people. Because then, like, once you can't do something, like, for them anymore, or, like, they can't do anything for goodbye. you anymore. Yeah, goodbye. And, it's, and it sucks. And it's one of the hardest lessons, honestly, I've ever had to learn. I think, I honestly, that. my advice is just, like, in the end of the day, in the end of life, in the end of whatever the fuck you're going through, I think the only, like, word or advice that I have is, like, honestly, patience. And I think, like... With everything I've done, whether it's, like, recovering, whether it's transitioning, whether it's waiting for my ID and shit to be changed, whether it's, like, parents, so-and-so, whatever the fuck the case may be, everything is solved with time. And as long as you're, like, putting out good energy and, like, know who the fuck you are and do not care what anyone thinks because in the end, baby, you have you. Like, you're not going to have mm -hmm. these people that are judging you, like, for however God knows how long. So in the end, you only have yourself. Everything heals with time. Everything will be okay with time. So just, like... Keep putting yourself out there and keep being who you are and who you want to be and everything will everything will yeah. be how you want it to be. And I think a lot of people struggle with the idea that like, oh, if I want to achieve something, then like you have to be like rich or like financial. Yeah. Like you like is like That's if you want case. something, you don't necessarily need a lot of money to get towards that goal. Yeah. Like just as if you're putting like ten percent into like you to be not ten percent of your finances, ten percent of like your energy or ten percent of anything, like, like if you're working towards something, like work towards that in any way you can. And you're eventually, like, going to get there. You don't have to, like... Even, put... like, do you ever see the TikToks of people being like, I hate seeing everyone living my dream in L.A.? It's like, baby, move to L.A. Like, <laughs> do your the fucking... And, like, yeah, for example, like, we have her who talks no, about, like, how she would, like, yourself. live on, like... Like, she would, like, steal work at McDonald's, groceries. steal groceries. Not saying st go steal groceries, but, like, <laughs> at the end of the day, like, she's like, I want to live in L.A. I Like, I'm like, going to do gonna what do I have to do. Have to do. Yeah, don't compare yeah. yourself to anybody else because no one else is lila from iowa and don't like, be no ashamed like and don't be ashamed of like what you're doing in life to get to where you want to go because at the end of the day like you're doing what you, you want like you could be do. ashamed of like yourself right now but like you're gonna be so proud of yourself later mm -hmm. so it's like you're taking yourself to a place that you never thought you would make it and yeah. it's like i don't know like you can't like like just trust the process trust, trust the process the, trust the process and trust the universe trust 100%. the process trust the universe and trust the right people bitch yeah <laughs> Hey. Okay. Um, 
Well, on that note, thank you guys <laughs> so much. Yeah, that was a good for, one. I like that. Yeah, like that. for okay. coming. And um, we yeah. hope you guys can come back again soon oh, and talk I mean, to us about another more. topic. Um, but you, guys you guys let us know in the comments if you guys want us back. Yeah. <laughs> it might, let us know. If you guys want them back, it might take them a few times. Not me. <laughs> not me. Just her. Just her. I'll drag her out of bed. Shit. I'll be like, I'll, I'll call You're her like, security. <laughs> send them up there. Rip her out of bed by the bridge. <laughs> Bring the dog. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, honestly, thank you guys for having me and thank you guys yes, for watching. Thank you guys for coming. Thank you guys for having us. This, this has so been much so fun. much. I'm glad fun. Amari joined me in double trouble. Hi. Yes. <laughs> thank you guys. All thank right. you guys. Don't Love forget to follow, subscribe, listen, subscribe, like, rate, give it a thumbs up, okay. all that and stuff. Next time, you guys, stay true.